Shalom, <clears throat> Shalakia, Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, whom the world stubbornly and ignorantly calls Jesus, the Prince and Savior of Israel, who died on the cross for the sins of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. <laughs> Honorable mention to the brothers out there prophesying in truth and diligence. And uh, peace and blessing, uh, peace and blessings, Salakia. Excuse me, to the hopeful elect. Uh, I was just reading an article, and uh, the title of the article says, uh, "Entire Baltimore Baltimore neighborhood under lockdown. Police declared martial law." Now, I'm just gonna, you know, get straight to the point. I'm skip around in this article. Basically, a police officer was killed. Okay, in memory of Detective Sean Souter, he was killed while investigating the homicide. So in response, Baltimore police reacted with fire and fury, turning the neighborhood where Souter was shot into an open-air prison, shutting down city streets and enabling checkpoints for citizens while officers in tactical gear went door-to-door, -door, according to Baltimore Brew. Residents were prohibited from entering their own neighborhood unless they showed proper identification. These extreme measures have been in place for four to five days. Now, you know, sometimes you can read, uh, you may read something, and there may be some disinformation, you never know. So I, I, I cross-checked it, I, you know, I went to Google, and uh, it corroborated the story. I went to Google and I typed in martial law Baltimore. It says, the Baltimore Sun one day ago, police to clear scene of detectives killing in West Baltimore on Monday. Zero Hedge, entire Baltimore neighborhood under lockdown. The New York Times. I believe Baltimore Sun is a uh, Baltimore newspaper now. They says uh, some residents have said they were being required to show identification to get past the police tape to enter their homes. Okay. What else did they have? Oh, Daniel Anderson, 46, said he's sick of the flashing police lights that shine into his bedroom window and keep him up at night and tired of having to show an ID and a police pass to get onto his street. When you go out of your door, you have to be escorted off your block by police, Anderson said. Okay. It's unfair, he said, when regular people get killed, they don't do all of this. When a civilian gets killed, they wrap up real, real quick. Okay, I'll go back to the uh, to this other article. Uh, yeah, they got a picture. That's the... Uh, They've been to my house three times asking, did you hear anything? Do you know anything? Said Edward Stanley, a local resident, who had to show a yellow slip before entering the neighborhood. Uh, that's pictures, right? Got it. Uh, another Twitter account describes how the police declare martial law as one police officer with an assault rifle guards a corner. There it is, there. Okay, it says two women walking down Franklin Street to get to their cars parked blocks away because of the lockdown complain that they had been harassed by officers. They know I live here. They've seen me come and go, but this one had to pat me down. He, the officer, went like this to my jacket, grabbing it, said Shelly, 25, who asked that her last name not be used. They wanted to know why I had been. Why do I have to tell them that? It's just me and my flip-flops trying to go to my own home. We haven't been able to get our mail for four days, said the woman with, with her. Samantha, 50, who also asked not to be identified. Is the city going to pay the late fees on my bills? Okay, and with that being said, that's, you know, that's enough on that article. I'll, uh, I'll do one more thing. I'll look up martial law. Let's see what the, uh, the textbook definition of martial law is. Okay. Martial law definition. Military government involving the suspension of ordinary law. 
Now, if you happen to go back to that article and read it on yourself, you will find that, because uh, it's, a, it's a pretty long article, you'll find that it said that they declared that unconstitutional. But the point of the matter is, the so-called white man, which is Esau, according to the Bible, he's going to suspend the Constitution. Okay? These people hollering rights. We had a guy come up to the camp. He was a Moorish American. And he was, you know, I got an ID. And, and one of the brothers asked him, well, what you going to do when they declare martial law? Show him the ID? And he said, yeah. Like, and he, 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 he thought, he thinks that he going to be... <laughs> uh, protected in that day because of that. Now, what's this? This is Revelation. When, when you, you know, you read the article, you know, certain scriptures come to mind, right? Uh, Revelation. Chapter 12. It says, uh, what's that? What's that? Or oh, is it 18? Chalaki. Chalaki, excuse me. Real quick. Oh, yeah. I was tripping. Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, and the word devil, it just means uh, diablos. It's diablos in the Greek and the Latin, I believe. And uh, prone to slander, slander is accusing falsely. Okay. False accuser, a slanderer. Adversary, one who withstands. It's uh, basically the word devil means deceiver, man. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deceiver, okay? And that's what the so-called white man is. He's he 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 that's why he is the devil, okay? And so the scripture says, Woe though, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Because of him, uh, exclamation of grief, meaning basically destruction. It says, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He got a short time to what? To attempt to win the fight of good and evil between Jacob and Esau. The Jacob represents uh, the Israelites, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And Esau is the so-called white man, which is the, the, the Edomites, whether they're in Russia, whether they're in Germany, whether they're in America, England. If they, if they, if they the so-called white man, the descendant from the paternal side, which means their father's side from Edom, then that's what it is, man. They're attempting to win and, 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 and trying to, to chip the world. When you read the Georgia Guidestones, it says, I believe it says, keep the, uh, the population under... Uh, 500,000 or 500 million uh, have one language, you know? And uh, when you read, when you go to the Apocrypha and, you know, the Christian church it doesn't accept this, the Apocrypha, but it's part of the Bible. When you read, uh, it's the uh, scriptures in Edris, it says, I'm, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing quickly. It talks about men desiring to go into cities, man. And they're not able. And that's what we read. Uh, one, if you were not allowed, when you go back to the article, if you weren't in that city, if you didn't live there, you uh, you were not able to. This is 2nd Ezra's, uh, I'm going to start at 16. 2nd Ezra's 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So we we at the we basically this is the calm before the storm. What's gonna what's gonna happen? Cause they nobody pretty soon the the, the world for to be in such an uproar and an upheaval, especially out here in America, ain't nobody finna regard the law. Ain't nobody from the pay like when you watch these movies uh, with, with uh, uh, like these zombie like movies. I, I can't recall the movie, but this one dude he had ran into the store and he was stealing, and he saw the police, and he was like, like shocked. But then the police was like stealing, trying to trying to save himself. Like it's gonna come a time where people just gonna be looking out for themselves. They're not gonna regard 
they kings and they princes, which, you know, represent, you know, like the rulers, you know, politicians and things of that nature. And it says, uh, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You ain't going to be able to go because it's going to be sectioned off. A lot of stuff is going to be checkpoints. And then it's not like, like now it's checkpoints and stuff sectioned off uh, for they say safety, right? They not, nobody was harmed. Uh, I didn't read in the article that the police shot anyone and anyone was harmed besides being harassed. They did say some people were harassed, but it's going to be people, the, the police going to be killing people outright. They're going to be seeing people and they're going to be getting killed, man. Any, any military uh, people, force figures, they're not going, it ain't going to be protect or serve. It's going to be seek and seek and kill. All right. And so uh, I'll read that again. Um, uh, Second Ezra 15 and 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. Now, when you jump over to Second Ezra 16, it says, uh, you dump, uh, uh, go down, right? Uh, 68. It says, for, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So people is going to be put into concentration camps. They building them. They got videos of people stumbling across abandoned Walmarts and abandoned buildings. But they're sectioned, they're sectioned off and people is working on them. They, uh, I actually seen a video. They got, uh, they got uh, disposable... Uh, Salakia, uh, uh, coffins basically. They basically got plastic coffins that can fit five bodies. So they planning on they planning on killing people. Uh, and 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 ultimately they they're trying to win. Like as I stated earlier, it's uh in Revelation twelve and twelve for the devil knowing he have a short time. That short time that he has, he he feels that he can win. He feels that he feels that through his through his mind, through his uh uh yeah, let me get this. To like yeah. Cause the so-called white man think that he think that he will he will he will excel spirituality of the scriptures of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the most high and his son, he will he will exceed that and bypass that and come up some other way through his own mental prowess that he thinks he have. All right? This is uh, Habakkuk. Uh, what is that? Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine and that wine represents his doctrines, his philosophies. It said he is a proud man. See, he proud. He, he, he really think like he, he at the top. Look at, look at these. Look at these niggas. I got them in derision. They believe anything I tell them. He, he proud. He a proud man. Proud. What they got for proud? Proud. Proud. Arrogant. Haughty. Elated. Elated is synonymous with like elevated, you know. Arrogant. Haughty, man. So because he, he's elevated above the... He's only elevated because uh because Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, put him there. Now... When you read Isaiah, uh, what is that? 10 and 5. Is it 5? No, it's, 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 uh, uh, I'll start at the top. This Isaiah 10 and 1, it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and the right grievousness which they have prescribed. And that's you. That's the so-called white man. You writing, you are making un unrighteous decrees, man. Uh, uh, hate, uh, it's hate speech. We, we, we can't, we, we, you see something wrong, you can't speak against it. All right? To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? So what you going to do when, when Yahweh Shai come for you, man? 
Verse 4, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So, first of all, you only elevated because the Lord elevated you. He gave you the world for right now. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Job 9 and 24. So, without the, because without the, the Lord, first of all, the Lord gave the children of Israel a trembling heart. That's the, the because we're, we're smarter than you. We're stronger than you. We're better than you at anything that you can possibly think of, yet you rule over us. That makes no logical sense. That has, that, that has to be, it was, that was a, 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 a supernatural occurrence that you, you ruled over us. Like when you read, uh, no, when you, uh, when you watch Django, right? You watch Django, the, 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 the man that played John Candy, Leonardo DiCaprio, he said, all my life I've been surrounded by niggas, just black faces. And one thought always came into my head that I, I didn't understand. Why don't they kill us? And that's because the Lord, that's why he said, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners. Because the Lord, the, the Lord allowing you to do what you're doing right now. You're not doing it within yourself. He's allowing that. And when he stops, you're going to bow down under the prisoners because we prisoners right now, the, 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 the children of, uh, of Israel. Because when you free somebody, you got to send them back home. Everybody in the history of slavery, when they got freed, they went back home and they went with substance. When you read, uh, you, they, 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 they were sent home, they were sent with gold, they were sent with cattle so they can start, so they can, they can have a starting point. All right, but uh, going back to uh, Second Ezra's, uh, where my app at? Second Ezra sixteen. It says, uh, jump down to like verse what was that sixty nine. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So they that see that this that. These are just small little precursors, these little towns. That's coming to America pretty soon. And there's going to be some people that's consent to them. Like, we read some people complaining. It's going to be some Israelites that's going to agree to what's going on. Niggas always, I, 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 I'm ready for martial law. Niggas always can. I'm tired. I, I want them. But nigga, it's, they going to get you too. Because our people, our people is, is just foolish, man. It says, uh... And then when they, when they implement that chip right now, they, they making them get passes, a little slip. You got to see, that's going to all boil down to a chip because right now you can't go nowhere without your ID. When the martial law cracked in Baltimore in that little that city, that town or whatever, they, they got IDs. Now they, had, now they need a yellow little slip. And pretty soon it's just going to be a chip. And everybody that consent to them going to be had in derision. Verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So that's just a small tidbit because the scripture said there shall be in every place and in the next so like it, and in the next cities. So it's going to be everywhere. Right now it's just to our knowledge, it's just in Baltimore. To our knowledge. Okay. It could be in other little cities. It says date verse 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they, they ain't going to spare none. It's going to be it, the, the true men that follow the Lord and believe going to get it. You fake Christians going to get it. And just, just you Israelites in general going to get it. Look up Google Rex 84 and Google uh, uh, King Alfred, the King Alfred plan. All right. It says, uh, why do they keep leaving the scripture? It says, uh, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So right now, they're being, uh, it's, uh, what, what they experienced over there in that city, well, that was a polite version of martial law. You know, they was complained about, you know, harassing and everything. But they was more polite with it. Okay. But they going to get, they going to, they going to do what's in their heart to do, man. And it's in their heart to, to erase the, the children of Israel off the face of the earth, man. These so-called white people hate us, man. Period. 
and it says, uh, verse 73, it says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And see, that's how the Lord always was. He, oh, I love, I love God. I love the Lord. Okay, let, wait, wait till adversity come. I actually, I was talking to a guy, and some he told me when his friend said, "Man, he almost wanted to stop believing in God because a, a, a baby got killed or some something." And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, for, like first of all, these people don't believe in God. These people believe in the belief of God. They don't believe because belief, belief musters action. If you believe something, like you truly, if you believe something, you act on it. If I told you a house was on fire and you believed me, then you would act accordingly. If I told you a, a, a fine young lady liked you and, and, you, and you, didn't, you didn't believe it at first, but I convinced you, then, then that will boost your confidence and you will go and talk to her. So it's belief springs for So these people don't believe in God. But the Lord, the Lord brings you through the fire. You don't, you don't, you never walk around the fire. And when you, matter of fact, let me get that. That's, uh, the Lord proves you. All through, when you read about the different men of the Lord, even Abraham, the Lord proved Abraham. He waited, he waited about what, what was that? A hundred years? Salaki, if I'm if I'm messing up the uh, the age, but he waited between ninety and hundred years to have a son, and when he had it, the Lord tested him and said, "Okay, now now offer now 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 offer up your son," because that's a that's a reproach among God people, man, where they used to be to not have children, because the, the Lord said, "Be fruitful and multiply." So when a woman couldn't have a child, that was a great shame to her, and if a man couldn't have a son. To pass on his name, that was like a shame to him. Men wanted sons. Women wanted sons too. All right? So, uh, going back to the point, he proved Abraham. He said, okay, sacrifice your son. That was, that was Abraham's, that was one of his adversities. All right? When you read uh, uh, Zechariah 13 and 9, it says, uh, and I will bring the third part through the fire. And where we find them as silver is refined. And we'll try them. Now try mean prove. To examine, try, prove. To test, okay? It says, uh, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. All right? And that's what's going to happen, man. Because when that time comes, you're going to have to call on the name of the Lord. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to trust that he's gonna deliver you and save you. Your wits, your you ain't you gonna you're gonna be at your wits end, first of all. So you can't just rely on your own self. I'ma um get one more scripture uh in the apocrypha. Cause when you said cause the, it, it, I'll read this again, it says uh Second Ezra 16 and 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. When you read, when you read, when you read Second Ezra, I can't recall a chapter. Matter of fact, it might be 7 and 18. And I'm just gonna it's you know, it's gonna hit the point again. Uh yeah, yeah, the water y'all by Shem Yah Shai. It says, Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things. Now, when you look up that word straight, it, it means position of difficulty. Now, let's get, let's get Google. Let's see. Let's, let's look up. Let's look up the word and see what it's going to tell us. Because this is, that's straight, S-T-R-A-I-T. Oh, must be something going on in Syria, of course. Let's look. Let's see what they got for us. Straight. Verse 2 is the point. Used in reference to a situation characterized by a specified degree of trouble or difficulty. Trouble. Some, some, um, some um, synonyms. A bad, difficult situation. Difficulty, trouble, crisis, a mess, a predicament, a plight, informal, hot, deep water, a jam, a hole, a bind, a fix. Okay, 
So the scripture said, the righteous shall suffer straight things. Second Ezra 7 and 18. The righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide. So, because you know, the straight is, a, you know, is also a narrow passage. So it's, it's difficult. Like when you, uh, the analogy, if, you, if any of you brothers remember the movie Pocahontas, you remember there was a scene where she was, in the boat paddling by herself. And it was one of the river, it winded in a lot of twists and turns if she went one direction. Then the other one was just like a straight, clear path. And she went down the, 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 the one that winded and it was a difficult path. So the righteous gonna go through a difficult path and hope for an easier path. And hope for why? It says, for they that have done wickedly have suffered, have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the why. So you're not, the, the wicked, you going, that's why I said, they that consent to them shall be had in derision. So you're going to be in the straits. The righteous and the wicked going to be in the straits. But the wicked ain't going to have no hope or no ex, uh, expectation. The, the scripture speaks about uh, the hope of the ungodly is vain, roughly paraphrasing. <laughs> Now I ended on this scripture. This is uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Ecclesiasticus, known as Sirach, not to be confused with Ecclesiastes. It says, uh, uh, I'll just read the point. This verse five: For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. That's why the Lord said, then. Shall it be known whom is my chosen? You got to go through the fire. That's why uh, 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 John the Baptist said, he that coming after me shall baptize you with, uh, uh, with fire and the Holy Ghost. And that fire represents those straits, those trouble. Because the, the scripture says, uh, by the sadness of the heart, the countenance is made better. So that, you know, it keeps you in a, in a, in a humble state and it keeps you in the state of... Uh, of a need, needing the Lord, needing the Lord to get you out of this, man. That's why it says, uh, they shall call on, they, and when you read Zechariah 13, they, they shall call on, um, my name. They shall call on the name of Yahweh. They, they shall, they shall say, uh, Yahweh is their power. And I shall say it's my people, man. And with that, uh, Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. This was an edifying lesson. Shalom to the elect.